Uh, so we'll get back to that in a minute. But before we do, that, yeah. that brings us to Mattress Running the Numbers. So what do we have for Mattress Running the Numbers this week? Right. Okay. So Marriott is back on, on the schedule for Mattress Running. But this time, we're not talking about actually staying in hotels. We're talking about spending on the credit card. So the Marriott Bonvoy business card, the one from Amex, um, is out with spending offers. And they target different people who have the card with different offers. Um, by the way, for those wondering, because it is hard to keep track of all the different Marriott Bonvoy cards, this is the old SPG business card <laughs> for those who remember that this used to be a Starward preferred guest card. Anyway, um, the new offer uh, that I got was spend $20,000 and you get 25,000 $25, bonus points. Right. So 20, 20 grand. Get 25,000 points. Right. Bonus points. Bonus points. So, you know, if you just sort of look at the, if you reduce the numbers to uh, to, uh, uh, points per dollar, then it's getting, I think, 1.25 extra points per dollar over normal spend. Normally you get two points per dollar. So 3.25. It's not, it's not bad, but let's, before I talk about is this good or bad? Let's talk about some other offers we've seen. Um, now you saw what was yours again? Spend five hundred. Yeah, mine was mine was much easier. Spend five hundred dollars, get a thousand bonus points up to three times. So I spend five fifteen hundred dollars, and I'll get an extra three thousand points. So so yours is an extra two x point. An extra two x. That's right. And it has a, a fairly small, like doable spend. Very doable. Yeah. Um, another person I saw had spend 7,000 and get 15,000 bonus points. So that's a tiny bit over 2X right. bonus. Right. Um, <laughs> the funniest one I saw, or <laughs> most ridiculous one, was spend $100,000 and get 100,000 bonus points. So Up to three times. Up to three times. Right? <laughs> <laughs> So if you like to spend a hundred grand on your uh, your Marriott business card three times, then uh, yeah, you get yourself three hundred thousand bonus points, Greg. I mean, that's huge, isn't it? It's, it's <laughs> something big numbers, big numbers, <laughs> big yeah. numbers. That's for sure. <laughs> so, so I mean, you don't sound very enthused about this. Right. They seem like pretty good offers, though, right? I mean, like your offer, you said was terrible. That you like, you gave it an LOL. You were like, LOL, yeah, no, right? <laughs> right. And so you're looking at an extra 1.25 points per dollar. The card naturally earns two points per dollar everywhere, so that's 3.25 Marriott points per dollar everywhere. That's better than the SPG card. The SPG card that everybody held up is like the magical, you know, one card to rule them all for years and years, earned the equivalent of three Marriott points. This is 3.25 Marriott points per dollar. A, isn't that a great deal? And B, that card has a bonus category, doesn't it? Gas stations are 4X, I think. So you could be getting 5.25. Marriott points um, per dollar if you spend it all at gas stations. Yeah. Does it have that or is that the just the Chase uh, business? I don't know off the top of my head. But anyway, sure. um, <laughs> you're probably right. Uh, so, yeah. So, so that's a, a great question. So, so you're saying I would earn slightly better than the old SBG card. Right. My offer if I spent exactly the $20,000. If you spent exactly the $20,000. Correct. And first, let me first say why it, it, it obviously makes no sense for me, which is that because I, I have the plus three offer uh, from having referred someone on an Amex card, I, I can get 4X membership rewards points anywhere. So if I have $20,000 to spend on an Amex card, <laughs> you know, should I get 4X membership rewards or three point a little bit X uh, Marriott? It's, it's obvious, right? No, no obvious brainer. answer there. Right. I mean, even if I wanted Marriott points, I could transfer them one to one, which I wouldn't normally do, but but I could. Right, you could so, if you want. <laughs> right, <laughs> so so that's why for me, I mean, I didn't even have to do any math. But but um, it, your your question about the SBG card is is really relevant here, and and it it almost for a moment made me think, oh, did I you know not think through this correctly? But but then I remembered. Back when we used to all rave about the SBG card, it was because it it would only earn one point per dollar, um, but it would 
correct me if I'm wrong, but it would transfer to airlines at a 1.25, I think. 1.25 it was. if you if you transferred in the 20,000. 20,000 at a time. So so it was like earning 1.25 airline miles per dollar everywhere. Back then that was good. Back then right. it, that was great. That was the gold <laughs> standard of credit card earnings. Right. Now that's right. laughable, right? <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> it certainly is. It's, I guess, so, I mean, you're going to get one and a half everywhere, easily two everywhere with a lot of different cards. So right. 1.25 miles per dollar is not nearly as exciting as, right. as this was. Right, exactly. So so that's why the, the SPG argument doesn't make sense in today's uh, market. And then it, when you, if you just uh, take the value of Marriott points, about 0.7 cents each, you look at it, it was like, okay, I'd be earning a little over um, two cents, you know, I don't remember the numbers, but let's say 2.2 right. cents per dollar, which, or maybe even 2.4, I don't remember, but that's good for an everywhere spend card, but so um, for a bonus, that's not particularly good, right? I mean, there, and it, it, if you have a spend bonus on, Let's say your your blue business plus card, which earns two x everywhere, that's going to be way more valuable. And arguably, two x on blue business plus um, for regular spend is more valuable th than two point four cents value. So anyway, and of course, I have the um, Bank of America premium rewards, where I'm getting two point six two percent value everywhere. So anyway, so all out. kinds of reasons why it's not a good deal you're for out. me. Um, what about you? So you're you're getting more better you have a significantly better deal than me right uh is it worth it i mean i i definitely thought i would use it and i thought i would probably use at least the first 500 or so at gas stations because uh, i that card does i did double check it card does okay, earn great. four marriott points per dollar at gas stations so that's like six six points per dollar at gas stations i mean that seemed like a great idea until today so, you know, <laughs> I, or until this week, anyway, right. you know, it seemed like, seemed like it'd be a great return. And that would be my gas card. And, you know, I'm going to do a little road trip to see family for the holidays. So I'm going to spend some money on gas. So I was like, all right, great. You know, I, I maybe I'll mix in a gift card here or there or something. And I, I know that Amex doesn't typically like gift card spend, but I figure if it's a small one here and there, maybe I'll, maybe I'll sneak by. Right. So, so I figured I would probably do that. And yeah, I mean, the two extra points per dollar makes it four Marriott points per dollar. So for cheap, you know, sort of things, I felt like that wasn't bad. That was a reasonable return on spend, not a great return on spend. But if you value those Marriott points at seven tenths of a cent each, four points per dollar is like about 2.8%. That's a pretty good return. So yeah, I, I felt like I was definitely going to use it. Now I'm hesitating a little bit because of the platinum card offer we're going to talk about a little bit later that's going to require you know quite a bit of spend. So now I'm rethinking whether or not I have the capacity to 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 do this, but I probably will. I mean, if I'm being truthful, I probably yeah, five hundred dollars for a thousand points, I'm probably gonna do it. And and I think that if you've got an offer like that, it's worth it. Seven thousand, you you know, you're starting to push. Do I really want to put that much right. on the card? Right, right. Um, also, if it's if it's an either or thing, like so, it's one thing if you if you can dig up extra capacity, um, but if it's an either or thing, you, you, I think it is worth looking at what else you could be earning more. And like you're saying with the platinum card, which is an extreme example, but everybody right. probably has. So, for example, um, if 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 you have a Premier card which earns three x at gas stations, and you're looking at oh well, I could get six x Marriott or three x thank you points. It's not obvious to me which you should pick. It depends right. what your needs are, I think. Right. And so, um, yeah, you, you kind of go from there. And I'm in a mode where, because hotel points typically aren't a great value to pick up, if I can get a reasonable value, if I'm earning hotel points at a reasonable value, I'm usually happy to do that because I'll earn a lot of transferable currencies because there's going to be a lot of those opportunities for 4X and 5X and, you know, who would have known it, but 10X maybe too. And so, you know, I, I know I'll pick up a lot of those transferable currencies. I pick up a lot fewer 
uh, hotel points because it, you know, two points per dollar everywhere. I'm not going to put any spend on the Marriott card at two points. Uh, but you, so that, that's why I, I'm more likely to take advantage of those opportunities where it's like, okay, I can get a reasonable number of points and then hold out for an opportunity to leverage those points for a really valuable stay. So right, right. that I wouldn't pay ca the cash rate for. It, I, th I think there's something there that we need to explore more at some point, like try to figure out a sort of a theory behind yeah. this because, because there's definitely something there about what you're saying where, where Marriott points and actually a lot of hotel points, IHG points, I think Hyatt and Hilton are the only ones where you could sort of regularly spend at decent value to get, to get those points. Um, it, it, Radisson too, I guess. Um, the, the um, oh wait, and Wyndham. Let me back up. <laughs> I guess there's lots of opportunities I'm, to get I'm, hotel I'm, points. I'm throwing myself that. in a hole. But anyway, <laughs> Marriott and IHG, it's certainly, it's very hard to get those points and get good value while getting those points. So when, so there seems to be something there, like, like, should you grab those opportunities when you get it? And yeah. You know, and and well, I want to look at it and I say, okay, so. Hyatt, obviously, there's lots of great values to be had for Hyatt. And I earn a lot of Chase Ultimate Rewards points. So I'm always going to have a stash that I can use towards right. Hyatt. Hyatt right. just isn't everywhere I need to be. So if I'm going to be a Hyatt person, I've got to also have a backup program, right? And so for years, Hilton was that program. And so Hilton would be where I would put that kind of spend, especially with the Aspire card, giving such great value for just for card period and then you know you pair that with a surpass and you're in pretty good shape however because i've gotten titanium status with marriott the last couple of years i'm somewhat invested in the marriott program at least for another year or two here until i run out of status with them so that's part of the reason why i'm, I'm willing to to pick up stuff for marriott because they're everywhere i want to be yeah. and i've got the status with them right now so right right but, all right well so uh high level uh, mer uh mattress run thumbs up or thumbs down on this offer you know i'm going to say thumbs up if you've got a low spending threshold to meet if you have a high spending threshold i'm not going to bother to track twenty thousand dollars in purchases <laughs> to get an extra 1.25 so if you got okay. a five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars something like that that you can meet easily thumbs up right okay and you know even though i i sort of agree with you the way you caveated it i'm going to just sort of say on average, my thumb is down for this this offer, so that'll give us both a thumbs up and go. thumbs down on, on this mattress. <laughs> what we're calling a mattress run. Mattress run. <laughs>